you can't create an emotional connection with your customers, with your clients, and with your team, you're going to lose them. The last time we had the entire family here at Disney World, we had a wonderful time because the kids were all finally old enough to really get it. They could ride most of what they wanted to ride. You see, up until this point, my wife Leslie and I had to draw straws to see who got to ride Space Mountain with Jack and Robert and who got to ride It's a Small World again with Meredith and again and again. Small world, long line. She had a little magic fairy wand in her hand and she said, Daddy, Disney was re-memorable. I was thinking the same thing y'all are thinking right now. Re-memorable ain't a word. It's actually come to be what I speak about today, which is how to create re-memorable customer experiences. You see, rememberability is that intangible quality that exists between us, that exists between us and our customers. It creates loyalty. What are you doing to become rememberable in their minds? Rememberability is that intangible quality that makes your customers, that makes your team members say, wow. know these songs they were written years ago but somewhere in the vast recesses of this country one of those songs is playing and there is a drunk man le leaning against the wall saying turn it up <laughs> these songs have stood the test of time they are rememberable why it's because they make us feel good or at least the is you do me wrong I'm gonna write a song about it <laughs> spread it all over the country Heck, I might even record it. Her faded sweater's all she left behind. Fading scent reminding me of happier times. She's run off with someone new. Now this sweater's all I've got to see me through. Whoa, nothing cleans a toilet like cashmere. <laughs> Nothing scrubs a bowl like what I've got. I'm trying hard to wipe away her memory while I scrub those pesky stains off of my... We've got three wonderful children. I've got Jack. He's 13 years old. He's my stepson, or as I like to call him, my bonus child. We have pet names for each other. I call him Jackaroo. He calls me, you're not my real dad. You can't tell him what to do. <laughs> He's in the eighth grade. Regardless of, the, of what you provide, the tasks you perform, we're all just people serving people. I am not a number. I'm a person. I am not a number. I'm real. I have joy and hopes and sadness. I'm not a number. I feel. I'm not the cancer in room 311 or the diabetic in 402. I'm not the four top in the atrium or the quaint two and a half bath three bedroom. I'm not the ADHD on the red hall, the low test score on the blue. I am not a number. I'm a person just like you. I'm not a half percentage point or a margin call, the sum of pounds read on a scale. I'm not row eight, seat 32, or the commission on a sale. I'm not a case to be managed. I'm not the next in line. I'm not a double decaf mocha latte or a 20-year term life. I am not a number. I'm a person, and I demand your respect. But if you treat me like a number, then a number's what you'll get. You see, a number can't stay loyal. There comes a better deal. A number knows no allegiance because a number cannot feel. Be kind to me. And I'll open my heart. Invite me in. And I'll eagerly take part. Recognize my significance. Celebrate my individuality. Don't treat me like a number. And you'll have 
my loyalty. Thank you.